Top 10 Things to Do in Copenhagen Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Copenhagen, a city known for comfort and coziness, stunning modern architecture, sustainability and delicious food. Copenhagen offers something for every type of traveller and is a must-visit destination in Scandinavia. Make sure to watch until the end as we saved the best thing to do in Copenhagen for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe. So be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Copenhagen is the capital city of Denmark and is located on the eastern coast of the island of Zealand. The city is situated on the Øresund Strait, which separates Denmark from Sweden. The Greater Copenhagen area, which includes the city and its surrounding suburbs, has a population of approximately 1.3 million people, making it the most populous area in Denmark. Visitors can explore the charming streets of the city's old town, stroll along the picturesque canals and visit world-class museums and galleries. Foodies will appreciate the city's thriving culinary scene, which features both traditional Danish dishes and international cuisine. Finally, visitors can take in the city's unique vibe by biking around town, enjoying the nightlife or simply relaxing in one of the many cozy cafes. But let's start with a short introduction to the city's history. Copenhagen was founded as a Viking fishing village in the 10th century and grew to become the capital city of Denmark. The city underwent cultural and architectural growth during the 17th and 18th centuries and industrialization and modernization in the 19th century. Copenhagen was occupied by Nazi Germany during World War II, leading to significant damage and loss of life. However, the city recovered quickly after the war and became a hub of post-war social democracy and progressive values. Today, Copenhagen is a thriving city that blends its rich history with modern innovation and sustainability. It's known for its culture, design and quality of life, making it a popular destination for visitors from around the world. Now, let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in this amazing city. Number 10. Explore Nye Carlsberg Glyptotech. Nye Carlsberg Glyptotech is a must-visit museum located in the heart of Copenhagen, Denmark. It's renowned for its extensive collection of ancient and modern art, including works from ancient Egypt, Greece and Rome, as well as 19th and 20th century European art, featuring works by renowned artists such as Picasso, Monet and Gauguin. Number 9. Visit the National Museum of Denmark. The National Museum of Denmark is the largest museum of cultural history in Denmark. The museum houses an extensive collection of artifacts and exhibits that tell the story of Danish history and culture from the Stone Age to the present day. Visitors to the National Museum can explore numerous exhibitions that showcase the history of Denmark, including exhibits on Vikings, medieval life and Danish design. Number 8. Explore Christiansborg Palace. Christiansborg Palace is a stunning palace located on the small island of Slotsholmen in the heart of Copenhagen. The palace has a rich history dating back to the 12th century and has served as the seat of the Danish government since the 15th century. Today it is home to the Danish parliament, the prime minister's office and the supreme court and is one of the most important buildings in Denmark. Visitors to Christiansborg Palace can explore the royal reception rooms, which are lavishly decorated and include the Great Hall, where state banquets and official receptions are held. The palace also has an extensive art collection, featuring works by prominent Danish artists, such as Wilhelm Hanaschoy and Christen Kopke. One of the highlights of a visit to Christiansborg Palace is the royal stables, which are home to the royal horses and carriages. Visitors can see the horses up close and learn about their training and care, as well as see the magnificent carriages that are used for state occasions. Another must-see attraction in Christiansborg Palace is the tower, which offers panoramic views of Copenhagen from a height of 106 meters. Visitors can climb the tower to enjoy the breathtaking views of the city and its landmarks, including the nearby Copenhagen Opera House and the iconic Little Mermaid statue. Number 7. Stroll through Nyhaven District. 
A walk through the Nyhaven district in Copenhagen is a must-do activity for any visitor to the city. This picturesque neighbourhood is characterised by its colourful buildings, historic ships and bustling canal-side cafes and restaurants, making it one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city. The area was originally developed in the 17th century as a busy commercial port, and today it's a hub for entertainment and nightlife, with a wide range of bars, restaurants and live music venues. But it's not just the buzzing atmosphere that makes Nyhaven worth a visit. It's also home to some of Copenhagen's most iconic architecture, including the brightly coloured buildings that line the canal. For a true taste of Copenhagen, be sure to stop at one of the many cafes or bars along the canal for a drink or a bite to eat. From classic Danish smorebrød, open-faced sandwiches, to fresh seafood dishes, there are plenty of culinary delights to be found in this vibrant neighbourhood. In the summertime, Nyhaven is especially lively, with outdoor seating and live music filling the air. But no matter what time of year you visit, the colourful facades and historic ships make this neighbourhood a feast for the eyes and a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll or a romantic evening walk. Number 6. Visit Amalienborg Palace Amalienborg Palace is the royal residence of the Danish royal family, located in the heart of Copenhagen. The palace consists of four identical Rococo-style buildings, arranged around an octagonal courtyard, and it's been the official residence of the Danish monarch since the 18th century. Visitors to Copenhagen should not miss the chance to witness the changing of the guard ceremony, which takes place daily at noon in the palace courtyard. The ceremony involves the Danish royal guard marching from their barracks to Amalienborg, where they replace the previous guards on duty. Inside the palace, visitors can explore the royal reception rooms, which are open to the public and offer a glimpse into the lavish lifestyle of Danish royalty. The rooms are decorated with ornate furnishings, chandeliers and artwork, including portraits of past monarchs. One of the main attractions of Amalienborg Palace is the Royal Collections Museum, which is located in one of the four buildings and features a range of royal artefacts, including porcelain, silverware and furniture. Visitors can also view the private apartments of the Danish royal family, which are not open to the public but can be seen from the outside. For history buffs, Amalienborg Palace is also a significant site as it played a key role in Denmark's history. It was built in the 18th century as a response to the devastating fire of Copenhagen in 1795, which destroyed much of the city. Today, it remains an important symbol of Danish culture and heritage. Number 5. Meet the Little Mermaid The Little Mermaid is one of Copenhagen's most famous and beloved landmarks. The statue depicts a mermaid sitting on a rock with a wistful expression on her face, and it's become an iconic symbol of the city. The statue was inspired by the fairy tale of the same name by Danish author Hans Christian Andersen. The Little Mermaid statue was commissioned in 1909 by the son of a prominent Danish brewer, Carl Jakobsen, who was a passionate art collector and admirer of Andersen's work. The statue was designed by sculptor Edvard Eriksson and unveiled in 1913. While the statue itself is relatively small and simple, its symbolism and cultural significance make it a must-see attraction. The Little Mermaid has come to represent not only the fairy tale that inspired it, but also Danish culture and values, such as a love of art and literature, a connection to the sea and a sense of melancholy. Despite its popularity, the Little Mermaid has also been the target of vandalism and controversy over the years. Nonetheless, the statue remains a beloved and iconic part of Copenhagen's landscape and culture. In addition to seeing the statue, visitors can take a stroll along the picturesque Langelini Promenade and enjoy views of the harbour and the city skyline. The area is also home to several cafes and restaurants, making it a great spot to relax and take in the sights and sounds of Copenhagen. Number 4. Cruise on the Canals A boat tour on the canals of Copenhagen is a wonderful way to explore the city and see its many sights from a unique perspective. The canals offer a different view of the city than what you would see on foot and provide a relaxing way to take in the sights and sounds of Copenhagen. During a boat tour, you will be able to see many of the city's most famous landmarks, including the Little Mermaid statue, the colourful houses of Nyhaven and the iconic towers of Christiansborg Palace. 
You will also be able to see some of Copenhagen's lesser known sites, such as the quaint houseboats that line the canals and the charming residential neighborhoods that are tucked away from the tourist crowds. A boat tour is a great way to learn about the history and culture of Copenhagen from a knowledgeable guide. Many boat tours offer commentary in multiple languages, providing interesting information about the city's architecture, landmarks and history. The canals of Copenhagen are also home to many great restaurants and cafes, so you can combine your boat tour with a delicious meal or a cup of coffee. Some boat tours even offer dining experiences on board, allowing you to enjoy a meal while taking in the sights and sounds of the city. Number 3. Climb to the top of the Round Tower The Round Tower, or Runde Tarn, is one of the most unique and iconic landmarks in Copenhagen, Denmark. The tower is a 17th century astronomical observatory, which is still used by amateur astronomers today. It was built in the 17th century by Christian IV, and it's the oldest functioning observatory in Europe. The tower is named for its unique design, a cylindrical structure with a spiral ramp leading up to the top. Visitors can climb the 209 meter long ramp to the top of the tower, which offers stunning views of the city. The ramp is wide and gentle, making it an easy climb for all ages and abilities. Aside from the views, the round tower also offers other attractions for visitors. The tower houses an art gallery showcasing the works of Danish artists and a small museum dedicated to the history of the tower and its role in astronomy. One of the most interesting features of the tower is its impressive 17th century observatory, complete with vintage telescopes and other astronomical instruments. Visitors can learn about the history of astronomy and observe the stars and planets through the telescope. The round tower is also steeped in history and tradition. It was used as a symbol of power by the Danish monarchy, and its tower was the site of many royal events and celebrations. Number 2. Explore Rosenborg Castle Rosenborg Castle is a stunning Renaissance castle located in the heart of Copenhagen, Denmark. The castle was originally built as a summer house for King Christian IV in the early 17th century and was later transformed into a museum in the 19th century. Today, visitors can tour the castle's opulent interior, which houses a wealth of treasures from Denmark's royal past. The castle's impressive collection includes furniture, paintings and decorative arts, as well as the Danish crown jewels, which are kept in the castle's underground vault. One of the highlights of a visit to Rosenborg Castle is the opportunity to see the castle's royal apartments, which are richly decorated with tapestries, porcelain and furniture from the 17th and 18th centuries. Visitors can also tour the castle's Great Hall, which features an elaborate ceiling decorated with gold leaf and intricate wood carvings. Another must-see attraction at Rosenborg Castle is the castle's beautiful gardens. The gardens feature manicured lawns, beautiful flower beds and winding paths that offer visitors a peaceful respite from the hustle and bustle of the city. Rosenborg Castle is a must-visit destination in Copenhagen for anyone interested in Danish history, culture and architecture. With its impressive collection of royal treasures, beautiful gardens and stunning architecture, it's easy to see why this beautiful castle is one of Copenhagen's most popular tourist attractions. Number 1. Visit Tivoli Gardens The best thing to do in Copenhagen is to visit Tivoli Gardens. The gardens are one of Copenhagen's most popular tourist attractions, and it's easy to see why. This historic amusement park, located in the heart of the city, is a colourful and enchanting destination that offers something for everyone. First opened in 1843, Tivoli Gardens is one of the oldest amusement parks in the world. Despite its age, the park has managed to stay relevant by constantly adding new attractions and entertainment options, while still maintaining its old-world charm. One of the most popular attractions at Tivoli Gardens is the rides. From classic roller coasters to spinning teacups, there's something for thrill-seekers and families alike. In addition to rides, Tivoli Gardens also boasts beautiful gardens, fountains and walking paths that offers visitors a peaceful respite from the excitement of the park. But Tivoli Gardens is much more than an amusement park. The park also offers a wide range of dining options, including both casual and fine dining restaurants, as well as several bars and cafes. 
Visitors can enjoy everything from traditional Danish cuisine to international fare, and there are plenty of options for all tastes and budgets. Tivoli Gardens is also a cultural destination, with a variety of shows, concerts and events taking place throughout the year. From live music performances to dance shows, there's always something happening at Tivoli Gardens. Overall, Tivoli Gardens is a must-visit destination in Copenhagen. With its historic charm, exciting rides, beautiful gardens and vibrant cultural scene, it's no wonder that this amusement park has remained one of the city's most beloved attractions for nearly two centuries. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Copenhagen. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time!